Hi there. Hey, Jamie. I'm glad you swiped right. Right back at you. Ooh. Been on this app for long? Just a couple days. So, you're online flirting expert by now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't say expert, but I've had a couple fun conversations. Really? How's this one going so far? I just started. Too soon to tell? I'm walking on eggshells then. <laughs> we have to fix that. Yes, we do. Your profile said you're a professional gamer. Sounds super cool. I am, and it is. <laughs> I get to spend my days gaming with friends and going to e-tournaments. Ooh, you're an esports champion, among other things. Man, your life seems way more interesting than mine. I'm sure that's not true. I do esports, and you do online dating. <laughs> JK. It does result in a lot of interesting stories, though. Uh, like? Crazy obsessive people. Jerks. Ghosters. Nice people, too. <laughs> have any other gamers crossed your path? Nah, you're my first. We haven't met before, have we? I think I'd remember you. <laughs> I was so curious about your two truths and a lie. If you are a gamer, yeah, and you don't know me, I see where you're going. The FBI's top clearance thing is true. <gasps> that piqued your curiosity, right? That and your profile pic. Two good reasons to swipe right. <laughs> I feel honored. You actually read through my profile. Wanted to make people sh wanted to make sure you weren't a bot. Due dil diligence. Ooh, most people just look at the pics. That's true. I'm not most people. I can see that. So, FBI clearance. Are you a spy? Not exactly. I do more than esports. I do some cybersecurity on the side. Ooh, for the FBI? Among other clients. What exactly do you do? I specialize in taking down dangerous cyber criminals. Protect overall web security. Wow, that does sound cool. Scary, and as well I know. I was gonna say dangerous, but yeah, scary too. I'm one of the good guys though. Oh yeah, let me get this straight. You're a hacker? Yes. I'm online chatting with someone who hacks into devices for a living. Yes? I'm not gonna hack you if that's where you're going. Right. I think this... I should drop off this convo. What? No! Please don't! I need your help. What? How could I possibly help you? Well, don't take this the wrong way. You're not just what I was expecting. Me? You're the FBI cleared hacker? I know, but... I'm on a mission here. A mission? Yeah, my best friend Cody went missing after using this app. I took someone... I think someone on here took him. So why are you talking to me? Oh my god! You think I'm involved? Not after talking to you. I don't like this, Jamie. I'm sorry. Please don't leave. Let me explain. I developed an algorithm to find Cody. The calculations brought me to you. There has been two... There has to be a connection. But I don't know your friend. Whatever the reason is, the data brought me to you. Maybe you're also a target. What? No, why? I don't know, but we can work together and figure it out. How do you know? How do I know? You're who you say you are. Oh, he sent a picture. Let's look at it. Ooh, hello, Mr. Hacker. Little sweater. He's got a hoodie. I like him. I am real. That is a nice picture, I must say. <laughs> Thanks. You're cute, too. I was kind of excited when the algorithm matched me with you, if it's worth anything. Maybe. <laughs> well, except for the fact that my life is now in danger. <laughs> Minor details. <laughs> so, back to saving my life. Who do you think took your friend? I'm not sure. You get a lot of criminals when you're bringing down criminals. <laughs> Our enemies. Powerful ones, too. You think this is about revenge? Yeah. How do you know Cody isn't dead? Because someone is using his code to hack me. What? It's a live code only Cody can surf. Someone kidnapped him. Why? I'm not sure. So whoever took him wants something. Either from him or someone close to him. You're right. That's super insightful. 
I read a lot of murder mysteries. <laughs> See, I was right. I needed your help with this. Where was he last seen? There might be some clues there. Ahead of you, I'm at his place right now. We do make a great team. Anything out of the ordinary? The door was forced open. Ooh, don't go in. It could be dangerous. Worried about me? Maybe don't push it. <laughs> I'm in. <gasps> I was careful. Jamie, get out of there. No, I need to do this. Well, I don't. I'm logging out. Oh, no. No, no, I need you as a backup. If something happens to me, I need you to call the police. What? No way! This is crazy. You're all I have right now. Please. Okay, but hurry. Thanks. Okay. See anything? This place is a mess. Someone was clearly looking for something. Like what? Did Cody have any valuable objects or something? Not really. They didn't take the TV or any money. They just ripped open the couch and the mattress. And they smashed all his laptops and hard drives. So they were not after money. Is Cody also FBI cleared? Maybe they were after information. <gasps> he is, but... Shit, I know what they were after. <gasps> what? Wait, I hear something. <gasps> Someone's coming. <gasps> Get out of there, Jamie. I can't. They're at the door. <gasps> they? Who? Do you know them? No? What do I do? If I don't text in the next 24 hours, call the police. <gasps> Are you nuts? <laughs> BRB. Are you serious? Jamie! <laughs> Answer! <gasps> Please? Oh, God, Jamie. You serious? I'm back. No need to call the police. I'm having a heart attack right now. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with, though. I have to admit, uh, this kind of is exciting. <laughs> Just wait for me to tell you what I plan to do next. <gasps> Follow the intruder. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Did you see anything, though? It was way too dark. All I saw was a tall, bulky man. No scars, tattoos, nothing. He had a large coat on. Ugh, hate to admit it, but following him does seem like the only way to forward. Ugh, he's exiting the building now. Going to tail him now. Be careful. It's nice to know that you care. LOL, I'm invested in finding Cody now. I already like you. We make a great team. Stop flirting mid-pursuit. LOL, I can't. You're too much fun. Wanna go out? <gasps> sure. <laughs> if you survive the night. <laughs> wow, dark. <laughs> oh, text you tomorrow. <gasps> P.S. I owe you a date. Yes, you do. Oh, that's so much fun. I like it. Okay. Ooh. Hello? Are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Did you find Cody? Not yet. <laughs> But this thing just got even more complicated. Why? What did you find out? Remember the guy from yesterday? The tall, bulky man? Yeah. After he left Cody's place, I followed him. Yeah, I remember that bit. I was worried sick. So sweet. <laughs> I know, I'm endearing. <laughs> and well-versed in sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. You were saying something about that man. Right. I followed him to a government building. He works for the government. The CIA. OMG! Why is the CIA after your best friend, Jamie? I was confused as you are. So I hacked their systems. You hacked the CIA? Are you insane? <laughs> Relax, I've done it before. I did it a couple times. Security scans on their systems, you know, it's easy. You worked for the CIA? Just a few months, you know? I left a back door open, just in case I ever needed to access their files again. A back door? It's a piece of malware you leave behind. It gives you access into their system. Can they track it back to you? Not if I do things right. FBI, CIA, do I want to know who their other employees are? Who your other employers are? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so you hacked into the CIA. Right. I hacked into their system and looked for any investigations under Cody's name. Did they take him? I don't know if I'm ready to infiltrate the CIA to help your friend. <laughs> for a hot second there, I thought we were going to have to do that. <laughs> then I realized he was working for them. <gasps> so Cody is CIA. I didn't know he was one of them. Seems like your best friend has been keeping secrets from you. 
Yes. Secrets. Plural. I just found out he has like 20 identities. So maybe I've seen him in the app, but he's using another name. How does Cody even look? You're right. Give me a sec. A picture. Okay, who is it? Oh my god! Okay, definitely. That's me and Cody, right after we got our first job. Okay, so... That is not Cody. Oh, wait. I think I know who that guy is. Jamie, yours is the only visible face. But that guy looks, he kind of looks familiar though, doesn't he? Like one of the other guys? <laughs> a nice one though. <laughs> I do have a great profile pic. Cody doesn't like pictures. That's the only one I have. What is in the background? Oh, that's our thesis project. Let's see it. Oh, um, will you? Yeah. The pictures? A hyper-coded firewall. Like an antivirus? Yeah, but a thousand times more powerful. Impossible to hack. Jamie, that's amazing! Do you know what that means? How much is it worth? I know, we've been working on it for years. We finally cracked a code. A few weeks ago, though. Let me guess, around that time Cody went missing. Yeah. You do realize this is motive, right? <gasps> no way! Only a handful of people knew about our project. And only Cody knew I knew the details. <gasps> I know, and that makes three. Maybe Cody also matched with someone he thought he could trust. <gasps> That's it! That's how the whole mess is connected to the app. Someone in the here found out about our firewall. <gasps> That's really bad luck. I mean, how are the chances of a hacker matching with a cyber criminal on a dating app? Hi. If whoever was after him knew he was on this app, he was probably crushing hard on whoever tricked him. We shouldn't discuss this online, though. What do you mean? I mean, before we were sure no one is tracking our texts, we should meet in person. <clears throat> he should even think of these things. He's the hacker. What if you... Uh, if you want to go out on a date, just say it. <laughs> you don't have to make it a life or death thing. 50% I'm afraid for your life. 50% I do want to go out with you. Screw math. 200% wanting to meet you. <laughs> Blushing. Where are, we, where are you taking me? And are you picking me up? What should I wear? <laughs> Jamie, stop it. Let's meet at your place. I'm assuming it's a safe place to work in, right? Yeah, 100% secure. Cool, send me the address. Meet you there in a couple hours. Perfect. See you soon. Please, don't be a kidnapper, too. <gasps> You'll have to wait and see. <gasps> Ooh, oh! You arrive to the ad address Jamie gives you. You look around to make sure no one followed you. You're alone. Once you know the coast is clear, you head to the metal door with the serial number Jamie mentioned in his message. You push it open and step inside the darkness. Ooh. You enter a well-lit hallway. What is this place? It looks like a secret service bunker. Is this all Jamie's? You see a door at the end of the hallway and slowly approach it. There's still time to run. You can just not show up. But let's be honest. You want to know more about Jamie and this whole CIA versus cyber criminal disappearance. Yeah, kinda. You open the door. You walk into a high-tech lab and training facility hybrid. If you didn't know any better, you'd think you were in a sci-fi movie. Jamie stands in front of you. Ooh! in front of a large monitor, and you take a good look at him. You feel like skipping to the sexy part of the date. But the monitor behind him catches your eye, and you remember you're also in danger. For the moment, let's focus on finding Cody. Do we have to? You made it. I was starting to get worried. Is that the firewall? You point to the screen. Jamie smiles and shakes his head no. It's only a fraction of it, my part. What do you mean? It's not complete yet. Both Cody and I knew that what we had was worth millions, so we fragmented our master codes. He has one part, and I have another. Best way to keep it safe is to keep it offline. So, whoever took Cody doesn't have the full code. I think they already knew that. You said it yourself. 
they took Cody, they didn't kill him. They must think he can fix the missing pieces. Can he? How long could it take him? He can't, not without me, which means that whoever took him will probably come after me next. So, we can't wait either way, or take matters into our own hands. I'd rather do the hunting instead of being hunted, if you don't mind. <laughs> Jamie chuckles. He thinks you're charming. Now that I know you're in for the hunt, I have news. I've been tracking the CIA's comms. Cody's handler has been in communication with his superiors all day. Are you live tracking the CIA's communications? Yeah, I know it's risky, but I don't trust them, and it's the only way to find Cody before they do. <gasps> Jamie checks his phone. Aha! Finally something we can use. They're talking about Cody. <gasps> oh no, this is not good. Jamie scrolls through his phone aggressively. He runs to a corner of the lab and pulls out a small memory card of a camera, and he sticks the memory card in his phone and runs back to you. I know who took Cody. Have you heard of 101? Uh, no. What is that? Not what. Who? The cyber word knows him as OZO. He is a dark net hacker that specializes in stealing identities. He is the Bill Gates of identity theft. I don't get it. Why would he or she want your code? It doesn't... Eric does the exact opposite of hacking. Exactly. If we launch our firewall, he or she is screwed. It would make it impossible for hackers to penetrate private networks. I don't know, and I don't want to sound like a jerk, but what do I have to do with this? And I still don't get it. Well, my algorithm was tracking the activity of users who connected with Cody's online profile. OZO was probably checking yours out too, so it got flagged. I'm getting hacked? Not anymore. I took precautions. Your systems are protected by a dozen 12-digit 3D codes. He'll go after someone else. <laughs> you realize how lucky you are to have been bumped into Jamie. If it weren't for him, you would have had a bunch of digital doppelgangers all over the internet, getting credit cards, and God knows doing what else with your name. But what about everyone else? If there's a zero chance to help stop OZO from running, ruining other people's lives, you're gonna just... you're joining the fight. We have to stop 0Z0 zero zero or OZO. Look at you, going on a cyber criminal crusade. I like this side of you. You blush. Man, he's so charming. But as you'd like to have a taste of him right now, you know you're on a deadline. Cody's life is in your hands, and so is Jamie's. If OZO is coming after you, we need to move fast. Do you know someone who has been in contact with him? No, but I have something even better. The first time OZO appeared online, he did so in an online RPG under his binary handle, 101. He is still an active player. We just have to go in to the game and track down his avatar. Jamie links his mobile to the massive tactical monitor and logs into the RPG game. As soon as he logs in, a friend request pops onto the screen. Ooh. Game chat. User 101 wishes to join your campaign. Really? You and Jamie. Uh, look at each other. This was unexpected. And he hits the accept button. Well, that's like really unexpected. You shouldn't have done that. A texting interface opens up and 101 begins to type a message. <gasps> I have Cody. I have no further use for him. Oh my god! I have confirmed that you have the missing part of the code I'm after. The code for your friend's life. You have 12 hours. Oh my god. And just like that, 101 aka 0z0 goes offline. Asides of discovering, a hacker has a complete disregard of for grammar and you have nothing. Now what? Jamie unlinks his phone from the tactical screen and smiles. Why are you smiling? We have nothing. I was tracking the transmission. I have 0Z0's real IP address. I know exactly where to find him. Yes, Jamie. Yes. Now we can give this information to the CIA and they can finally help us get Cody. What? No. No CIA. No FBI. We don't even know if OZO hacked into their si systems, too. He could... no. And he could kill Cody and run. 
We have to do this. In fact, I'm going to really need a big favor. You look at him suspiciously, but you're already in too deep into this mess, and you kind of want to know, so you nod. <laughs> Jamie hands over a hard drive, and you stare at him, confused. What is in it? It's my part of the code. Well, the missing part. <gasps> what? He's giving you the code? Jamie, I'm not sure that you want to leave it with me. Uh, is there someone else you should leave it with? Nope, just you. I trust you 100%. Also, you're my backup. <laughs> You laugh out loud. Back up? You wouldn't even hurt a fly, and he expects you to save him from a criminal cyber mastermind? Jamie looks at you, dead serious. You're the only one who knows what is happening, and I'm about to go dark. <gasps> dark? Offline. I'll contact you every few hours until I find Cody. If I don't write back soon, destroy the code. <gasps> he means it, and you silently nod. Talk to you soon, then? Yeah, I'll protect the code. Go help your friend. Jamie smirks, and you melt a little. Are you two going to have a chance to go for a normal date? Who knows? For now, you two are on a mission. <gasps> Ooh. You two exit the lab and head in opposite directions, not knowing if you'll ever see each other ever again. <gasps> Aww. Going dark. <gasps> Be careful, Jamie. I will. Talk soon. <gasps> Oh my. Hello? Jamie, are you okay? Did you find OZO? Not yet. I lost him at the IP address, but I've been doing some darknet research. OZO has been taking down the competition. He's targeting other hackers? Yeah, friends, allies, I don't get it. Why turn on everyone now? He's trying to lose ends, Jamie. Anyone who could have identified him is gone. So, Cody knows OZO. The firewall code is probably the only reason he kept Cody alive. So as soon as he gets it, he'll take you and Cody down. Shit. You need to find Cody soon. There's only six hours left before the deadline, Jamie. I know, I know. I know someone who can help, though. Can you trust them? I think so, yeah. If OZO doesn't get the code, he's coming after us. You know that, right? I'll hit the deadline, trust me. I do. If you don't contact me in the next five hours, I'll destroy the hard drive. Yes. Going dark. Oh my god, again. I have a lead. A friend has been mapping out OZO's IRL activity. We pinpointed a small radius of activity. Your current location is within the radius. Makes sense. If I was his next target, he was probably using some kind of GPS location. Be careful. Are you worried about my safety, Jamie? Yes. <laughs> well, you have to go on our second date, so... And I still have to kiss you. So you better catch OZO then. <laughs> you have two hours left? Yes. <laughs> Getting closer. We'll keep in touch. Aw, this is actually cute. I like it. <gasps> Found him! Wow, that was fast. One hour left for the deadline. Do you have enough time? Yeah, you're not going to believe where he is. Please tell me it's somewhere far from my place. <laughs> it's uh, He's at my lab. He's probably thought you just kept the code there. Wait, how did he even know about your lab? I think I know OZO, R-I-L. What? I really hope I'm wrong about this, though. I'm going in. Wait, Jamie, do you need help? And you should tell me who it is, Jamie. Oh my god. So he just likes to do things on his own. <sighs> nice to meet you. If you destroy the code, Jamie and Cody are dead. I'll contact you. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Hello? Jamie says hi. <gasps> oh! No! He needs help. What did you do to him? Who are you? Don't play stupid. You have 30 minutes to deliver the drive, or Jamie goes dark permanently. Oh my god. Okay, well, Jamie really needs our freaking help. Tick tock. Okay, okay, I'll do it. But I need warranty that Jamie and Cody will be okay. You'll have to settle for my word. Not good enough. What to do then? Let Jamie go. Once he gets to me safely, You'll get the hard drive. I don't think so. Why would 
I let my trump cord go. You'll still have Cody. Jamie would do anything for him. Cute. You haven't figured it out. Figured out what? Can't blame you. It took Jamie a while. You didn't take Cody, did you? <gasps> Not really, no. You are Cody. I have a crazy theory, Ozio. Playing games? I can see why Jamie likes you. Tell me about this theory. I've been thinking about the firewall. Why would a hacker want the code for an antivirus? It doesn't make sense, right? I don't make sense. You could have killed Cody and Jamie, but you needed them alive. Yes, you're getting there. Jamie always dated the smart ones. You wanted to reverse engineer the code. Ding, ding, ding. But you need all of it. Jamie and his stupid security measures. Why split the code? Messed with my plan. Oh my god! You didn't take Cody! You are Cody! Bingo. But why? You had the access to the code. You both worked on it. Jamie, Jamie. He's a tricky partner, you know. A good friend, but a tricky partner. So suspicious. He never truly trusted me. He was right not to trust you. I wouldn't have had to kill him if he had. <gasps> kill him? Over a piece of software you wouldn't. Do you have any idea of what this code can do in the right hands? I can take over governments and banks. It's a master key to the world. I think that's worth Jamie's life. Don't you agree? Just let him go. I'll give you the code. You underestimate him. That hard drive you have is encrypted with Jamie's own maze design. I need Jamie to crack it open. I'm not giving you anything until I know Jamie is safe. Well, if you don't, he's going to be dead real soon. You just said you needed him. He's your friend, Cody. Don't do this. He put his life on the line for you. Is this code really worth it? Yes. I can't do it, Cody. I promised Jamie I'd protect the code. I know you want to save him. Now or never. I'm not breaking my promise. The clock is ticking. Last warning. Nine minutes. Um, rebooting? <gasps> oh my god. User ID 101 access revoked. System redirected. Secure line active. What? What the hell just happened? It's me, Jamie. <gasps> Leave me alone. Cody, Ozio, 101, bullcrap, whoever you are. I'm going to destroy the hard drive. Wait, no, this is Jamie. I don't like your games. This isn't a game. It really is me. Yeah, prove it. We don't have time for this. Prove it. <laughs> Imagine he was naked. Oh, <laughs> he's running away. There, it is me, in one piece. Jamie, you're okay. And looking good. <laughs> I love it when you flirt in deadly and dangerous situations. Have to take advantage of the adrenaline. It's kind of hot, okay? But I thought I wasn't going to see you again. I was coming up with a plan. You don't think I was just going to let him kill you, did you? I was trying to buy you some time. I know. While it, he was distracted trying to figure out how to get to the drive from you, I snuck out of the I snuck out and regained control of the lab's controls. You locked him up in your lab? Yeah, he's gonna be stuck in there for a while. I can't believe you didn't cave in, though. I always keep my word. That's badass. I know, I should be a spy hacker, too. <laughs> you would make a great spy. Nah, too much drama. <laughs> You'd love it. Probably would have escaped faster than me. Maybe. Also, Ozio is Cody. What the fuck, Jamie? Ugh, <laughs> oh, I know, I feel so betrayed. But I had no idea. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Sending viral hugs. Receiving. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. Not yet. But I will be soon. We need to meet before I leave, though. Wait a sec. You're leaving? Why? Don't. Cody is still after me. I have a plan to get rid of him. But I have to fly to Shanghai. <gasps> China? Why? What's in Shanghai? That I have to keep a secret. For the moment. But I do want to see you before I leave. Okay, let's meet. Cool, my lab is no longer safe. We can meet at my place. Perfect, send over the address. On my way. 
Oh. Jamie welcomes you into his apartment. It's beautiful. There's art on the walls, light everywhere, zero technology in sight. Not what you expect after you saw my lab. This is the place I come to when I need to disconnect. But we won't be safe here for long. We have to hurry. How are you doing, you know, with the whole Cody trying to kill you thing? I'm okay, I guess. I was ready for everything except that. But why would he do that? Weren't you guys best friends? Greed, I guess. If he had gotten the code, he would own the world right now. Thank you for keeping the code protected. You put the hard drive out of your backpack and hand it over, but Jamie refuses to take it. I'm going to have to disappear for a while. You have to keep that safe. What? No way! If Cody Ozio comes after me... He won't. He's going to come after me, and I'll be on the run. I have a ticket to Shanghai. I leave tonight. You walk away from Jamie. Reality is setting in. Jamie is leaving. You don't know what to say. This whole experience has been intense, but you feel like there is something real going on between you two. Jamie walks up to you, unsure of what to do. You turn around, grab his face and kiss him. He pulls you closer, wraps his arms around you, and kisses you back. His lips are soft, but there's an urgency in his kiss, a mixture of longing, excitement, and danger. You both know it'll be a while before you get another chance to touch again like this. After that seems to be a, a perfect eternity, your lips part. Jamie holds on to your face. I'll come back. I know. You put the hard drive away and head towards the door. He grabs your hand and squeezes it. He doesn't want to let go. You turn to him and smile. Go. Figure this Cody thing out and come back to me. I will. And with that promise, you leave. Aw, Jamie. <laughs> I'll see you soon. You better send me awesome Shanghai pics. <laughs> I will. Good luck. And do me a solid? Yeah? Don't die. I wouldn't dare. Not before I get to kiss you again. <gasps> Going dark. Aww. Okay, well that was Jamie's convo.